I'm Limo Bob. Oh, yeah. I love it. I love it. I build, rent, and sell the world's longest and most exotic limousines. Running this biz takes a pocket. A game of war. I got nice guy Neil, my personal assistant, my right-hand man. Then there's Marky Mark, the original midget man. And I got my bodyguard Tank. You don't mess with Tank. Then there's me, the king of the limo pit. Just when you thought you could shoot it off. Fuck, Tank, get my butt. What the hell are you doing? If Gino needs a midget, we need a midget. Crap. Oh, shit. Hey, who do you deal Limo. Limo, this is Bob. May I help you? You know, the holidays are coming up. I'm busy with help. Yo, call Louis because Gino needs to book his buddy, VIP. Hey, Bob, she talked to another guy. She's saying she can get it for $200 an hour, and she only wants it for three hours. Yeah, yo, you know what you can do. You don't lose nothing. We want everybody's business. Beat it by 10 bucks. Well, what about the tip? Hold on, Neil. Hold on. I got a call. All right. Limo, this is Bob. Yeah, Bob, how are you? Glodine, baby. How you doing? Would you believe who calls me Glodine White? Glodine is Barry White's widow. She's been talking about building a limousine for a while. What's going on, huh? I want you to do a, a limo for me. I got an Escalade, and I want to see what you can do to it. You want to do that Escalade? I love it, all right. As soon as she said she wanted it, I knew we had to get Bob to L.A. right now. I'll be on the Dex plane out there. I'll jump right on my people, make sure we got this baby rolling like the soul train, sweetheart. <laughs> I knew I had to get this job done in L.A., so I had to take it to my West Coast builder, Dave, over at Moonlight. I got the beautiful Glodine White. She's ready to build her beautiful car. Pleasure meeting you. Dave, my name's David McPhail. We're at Moonlight Industries. Custom build limos. Oh, it looks like you brought your car in here, huh? Yep, this is my baby. It's Escalade. It's going to be themed out like nobody's biz. And Dave, is that down, oh, he's got it down to the science. Give you a little tour of the facility and uh, get some ideas. Draw it up on paper, and guess what? We cut this thing in half. We won't let her see that. <laughs> <laughs> Dave and I can show Cody around the shop to get things moving, you know? Everything that we do here is over the top. A lot of uh, superstructures. So we do disco ceilings, disco floors, dripper poles, you name it. Uh, this is heaven. Well, these saw how badass those some of these. Chandelier is nice. Oh, yeah. These guys can do anything. And now the, some of the stuff that I've seen is incredible. Cody, what are you thinking? You know what? You guys have got me so excited. I'm ready to start working on mine. We're going to build you a dream machine like you've never, ever seen before. You know, for these big builds, we try to come up with a theme for the car. I just wanted to represent love and, you know, comfort. Everything I do is a tribute to my husband. His philosophy and life is always about love and people getting together. I want to take that into the theme of this car. No, Glodine White's beautiful love theme and limo. The love limo. I love it. Yeah, the love limo. When you're in the limo, I want to be able to feel like I'm still at home. I love it. Dave's going to have his work cut out for him on this one because Glodine wants this thing triple beam decked out. Suggestion to you is the wood floors. Got some nice light whites that accent off the floors. Yeah, I like white. She wants hardwood floors, lasers, great sound system. I'm talking about the works. My world, my life, my background is music, so we have to have an awesome sound system. Absolutely. You know what? We're ready. This is going to be a real exciting build, this one. We're going to make it happen. Now, when do okay. we need to get this done by? Just one, one, one little thing. One little small thing. I'm going to have it by New Year's Eve. Look on my face, probably set it off. Oh, New Year's Eve. <laughs> Yeah. A typical limo takes six weeks to build. She's giving us two weeks. What the fuck? It's absolutely impossible to do. Cannot happen. It's tight. You know what I mean? But for you, you're Glodine White. Now I got to figure out how it, you know, overtime, Saturdays, Sundays. We will do it. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. I love it. We have to get this right. We get this right, we get all the Motown clients.
Besides building and selling limos, I rent out the world's longest and most exotic limos in each other. When you rent a limo, you instantly become a celebrity. With the holidays coming up, everybody's renting limos like crazy. I got Bob in LA. Meanwhile, Dave comes and wants to rent a real bad limo. So it's a random Friday night. Me and my buddies are hanging out. And I say, hey, let's call Bob. We need a limo for tonight. <laughs> Every time we get a limo for Bobby, things get crazy. Girls, how much fun are you having tonight? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, it's all my Donkey Kong, honey. So my friend Christine, she works with a dance company. They dance at clubs, go-go dancers. When they go out, they know how to party. That's why we always love hanging out with her and her crew. Man, by the time we got the vein, we were trash. I'm at the bar taking a shot. I turn around. There's Christine in the waterfall with two other broads. So, Christine's dancing. She's soaking wet. I had to get her out to the limo to warm her up. So you know what? Drinking and getting rowdy, they're part of the business. But unfortunately, it's a sort of fight. Babe, you got in here. I'm sorry. Christine. What I say, babe? I'm what I'm I say? Sorry. Christine starts yelling at this girl. Get them out of here. What the fuck are they? When people start fighting in the limo, it's time to put a floor. I'm trying to figure out what the hell's going on. I just want to get the hell out of this. Stop. We were like, hey, you guys gotta get out of here. Hey, what Miss Big Kitties, go dance for the fucking waterfall, you fucking hey, idiot. Hey. And then the guys got the nerve to spit at her. I was like, what the fuck? Stop! The driver should have stopped me right there. There's a chip. I'm glad I didn't make it there that night because someone would have went home with a body bag. That's pretty much a typical night for me and my friends in Chicago. That's how we do it. Bob's gonna get back to Chicago for a meeting with Gino, one of our biggest clients. Gino, baby, what's going on, man? I'm Gino, I'm 23, I'm the president of Debonair Entertainment. Debonair Entertainment is a promotion company We make the best parties happen. Gino's having a huge New Year's Eve party and he wants to talk business. Bottom line, Limo, I'm rolling out the red carpet to have the biggest party in the city, hands down. We've got over 600 people attending, completely sold out. Uh, every booth in the place is booked. We got four of the area's best DJs, and I need to come through with everything. I need the limos, I need the midgets. I think, Neil, Chad, you see, I think the midgets already booked. A few years ago, I came up with the idea that these midget made it ease. Basically, they're little people that work as bartenders in the back of my limos. Yo, midgets really get the party pop. Everyone's in question. It's off the chain now. When Bob said that his midget was booked, there was almost a deal breaker. I gotta find a new midget made of ease. The ones I usually use are they're totally booked. Neil, since our midget's already booked, we need to get a midget. Okay? You can't get a midget, man. You gotta get a midget. If Gino needs a midget, we need a midget. I need a midget. Yeah, I don't want to get a midget from. Dude, I don't give a fuck if you call the Wizard of Oz, man. You just get it done. Yo, Gino's putting a lot of cash into this, so I know we gotta come through with a kick ass. I don't know how the fuck he's gonna do it. I don't really care. It's just gotta happen. I'll get that midget made at Eve for you. Couldn't sure. make it happen without you. I appreciate it. How the fuck am I gonna find a midget for New Year's Eve? Gino needs midgets. I gotta get another limo for Gino. He, we're overbooked. I don't believe this bullshit. Bob needs another limo, so basically, I remind him about a limo that's a little behind on payments. Bitch, son of a bitch. You stealing my shit, dude? It's not bad enough that you fucking ripped me off, you and that fucking Guido bastard? Now you're gonna steal my shit? No, you ain't. I really hate to do it to the guy, but we gotta repo his limo. Set this fucking repo up. We're gonna get him. 